Hello and welcome to Rule Reading with Natalie, the show made possible because David can't read rules. Today we'll be talking about a game called Sekatsu. In Sekatsu, players take turns placing tiles into a shared garden area, with each tile shown a coloured flower and a coloured bird. Players take turns drawing and playing garden tiles that feature both a bird and a flower to create flocks of birds and rows of flowers, as seen from your pagoda. Who has made the best looking garden? It's all about perspective. Sekatsu is a tile placement set collection game. The standard game is for two to three players. There is also a four player variant which puts players in teams to work together to build their garden. Place the garden board in the centre of the playing area and adjust it so each player is facing a pagoda on the board. Whichever one you face determines your player colour. Player pawns are placed at zero on the scoring track. All of the garden tiles are put in the bag and mixed. For a two player variant, draw two tiles and place on the spaces with flowers next to the koi pond. For a three player variant, three tiles are drawn and placed on the spaces with flowers. The koi tiles are then added to the bag and mixed in. Then each player draws two tiles for their hand. The wisest player goes first. Beginning with the first player, play continues clockwise until the whole board has been filled. For a two player variant, there are 17 turns. And for a three player variant, there are 11 turns per player. There are three steps to a turn. Play a tile, score a matching bird, and draw a new tile. To play a tile, there are two rules to follow. One, play the tile on an empty space. Two, Play the tile adjacent to another tile on the board. The centre space is not considered an empty space. No garden or koi tiles can be placed there. To score a matching bird tile. If a bird tile is placed next to a bird that is the same, it forms a flock. Players score one point for each tile placed and one extra point per matching bird tile surrounding it. If the bird does not match any adjacent tiles, no points are scored. The koi pond tiles count as a bird for the player that places it, and only on that turn. On all turns after the koi has been placed, it does not count as a bird, and does not get scored as part of a flock. And lastly, to draw a tile, you pick a new tile from the bag, and if any remain, pass it on clockwise. Garden tiles. There are two duplicates of each of the 16 different tiles. Each tile has a bird and a flower. There are four types of flowers, purple, pink, orange and blue, and four types of birds. Red, grey, green and blue. Each of the birds and flowers appear on eight tiles. Koi pond tiles. These are special wild tiles which feature a koi fish instead of birds and flowers. At the end of the game, these act as flowers and count towards your score as the flower of your choice. These may be scored as different flowers by different players. End of the game. When the last tile has been played from each player's hand, the garden board should be completely filled and the game is complete. To determine the winner, each player will score for each row of flowers they have planted. To score flowers, use the rows starting from your pagoda. Find the largest set of a single flower in each row. They do not need to be adjacent to each other. You only score for the largest set of flowers in a row. Koi ponds act as a flower of your choice. This may be scored as a different flower for another player. To make scoring easier, score players one at a time, starting with the player in last place and going in reverse order. Flower points will be added to points gained for flocks of birds throughout the duration of the game. To score for flowers, you must score each row at a time from your pagoda. For example, if there is only one flower of that kind in any row and no other match in it, you will only receive one point. If there are two matching flowers in a row and no others match it, you will receive three points. If there are three flowers matching in a row and no others match it, you receive six points. If there are four matching flowers, you'll receive 10 points. For five matching flowers, you receive 15 points. And for matching six flowers, you receive 21 points.
If you would like to see our team gameplay, then please tune in to Throwdown Thursdays. My name is Natalie, and I have been your host, and I'll see you next time.